I made this colouring page with artificial intelligence and I'm going to show you how. Now AI, that's artificial intelligence, has come a long way over the past year and there's quite a few different AI art softwares on the market. There's this one, there's also Midjourney, which I'm just about to start playing around with. There's also Stable Diffusion, which is also pretty good, along with many others out there online. But did you know that Canva now has AI? In fact, they've actually integrated Stable Diffusion into Canva. Now if we come over to here to Canva, if you want to find the app, you want to come to the home page and then you want to come to here, Discover Apps, you want to click along right to here and go to Text to Image. Then you can start playing around with the software. So I have a few examples of colouring pages which I want to share with you which I created with this software. Then what I'm going to do is show you how to use the software as well. So let's go through some of these so you can see what the AI actually created. Some of these are pretty good and others not so much. But again, it's just amazing that no one actually drew these and they were created all with AI. So this is the first one. I have about 30, which I'm just about to whiz through so I can show you pretty quick so you can see what they look like. This was my favorite. As you can see, it looks really good. Then I have this one. Now, one thing I am going to note as well, I'm going to give you some reasons why you shouldn't really be using these for coloring books as of yet, but I'm going to get to that near the end of the video. So this is the second one. We can see they do look pretty good, but there's something just slightly off about them. Now, let me just finish whizzing through these. We can see this looks pretty good as well. So does this. In fact, most of them look pretty good. This one I was playing around with, and I asked for an owl. I think it was a cute owl with a top hat, something like that. And this is the image that I got. Then I have this one here, this one. I actually quite like this. And then this one as well. We can see it didn't quite do it properly because it's missing an eye. But nonetheless, all these little hearts. I think I typed in hearts and leaves along with the prompt. If you don't know what a prompt is, I'll explain more about that later on in the video. But we can see, looks pretty good. Same with this one. This one I really liked as well. And again, it's just amazing to think that no one actually drew these. Then I have this one. I went on a bit of an owl kick, just trying to see what the software could create. Then this one came out a little bit weird. As we can see, we have some eyes in the tree in the background, which ideally I didn't want, but this is what the software gave me. Then we have this one, which looks pretty good. This one as well. This I actually really like. Wouldn't be that great for a colouring in book, but nonetheless looks pretty good. So does this one and this one. This one's a little bit more abstract, but still looks pretty good. This one as well. And this, this. Now this one, I was playing around with monkeys. So this is what I was first playing around with. I asked for like a monkey, black and white monkey to colour in with a cowboy hat. And this is what the software gave me. I was also playing around with mandalas to see what it could do. And also unicorns. So with unicorns, I quite liked this one. I quite liked this one. And I also really liked this one. But as you can see, the background is just a little bit weird and you wouldn't really be able to colour that in. Now, even though this is about colouring pages, creating them with AI, I was also playing around with wallpapers just to see what it could do. And the AI actually generated this. So no human actually created this, which is pretty cool. And it's the same with this one as well. Now, they're all the images that I wanted to run through just to show you what this software can do. So now let me show you how to use the software. Now I already have it just here. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can find it from the home page, or 
If you come here to the left hand side, scroll down, go to more, you'll find it here within apps and then you can click on it to get it just here. Now let's click on it because this is the software. It is also in beta version, so please be aware of that as well. And it's text to image. So you want to create these images, these graphics or this art, whatever you want to create, you want to use it by using prompts. And you type in exactly what you want just here. Now down below, we can see there's a few examples of things that you could use. And we also have a few different style options. We have surprise me, photo, drawing, if we scroll through, 3D, painting, patterns and concept art. Now the one that I have been using obviously is drawing. So I'm going to click on there. And now you need to type in the prompt. So I already have one that I want to put in. I'm just going to paste it in. This is what I was using to create most of these pages just here. And that is black and white, no color outline of a cute owl on a branch to color. Full body outline, coloring books, illustration. Now I am playing around with the keywords to see what we can get. But from here, let's go ahead and see what this software is going to generate. Now let's click generate image and now we just have to give it a few seconds to do its thing. Now, like I said before, this isn't actually Canvas AI. This is stable diffusion. So what they've gone ahead and done is integrated it within the software. There we go. We can see we've actually got some images now. Now, if we go back to this one where I've got a blank one and a border, we can click on here to take a look. Now, as soon as you click on the image here, it's also going to put it into your upload section just here. Now from here, you can do what I've done as well. So right here, I actually have a folder. Well, this is a pro version with all the folders that you can create. But what I've gone ahead and done is created a folder so I can put all of the images into that just so I can keep it more organized. But if you don't have the option to create lots of different folders, you can just use the upload section here where the software is going to put it as soon as you click on the image. Now let's take a look at this. What did we type in? We typed in black and white, no color outline of a cute owl on a branch to color, full body, outline, color in books, illustration. And this is what the software gave us. So as we can see, it actually looks pretty good. Now let me just do another page like that. Let's get rid of this just so we can put this one on here as well. So we can take a look at this. And as we can see, they actually look pretty good. So my question is, could you actually go ahead and create a coloring book using AI? Well, the short answer is yes, but the long answer is not with Canva at the minute. So if you wanted to actually go ahead and create a coloring book, coloring images, all from AI, you're going to need to use a different software because you're really limited on what you can do with the integration within Canva. Now, one of the limits that Canva has is that you can't change the dimensions of these. So if we click on here, let's just go on to, that's the wrong one. Let's go back to uploads. Let's go to here. Let's go to download. Now, let me just open this up really quick and let's go to here. So as we can see, every image that the software generates is 512 pixels by 512. So we can't actually change that, which is kind of annoying. But another thing is that the pixels, the DPI, is only 72. Now, if you know anything about coloring books or print books, any type of printed books, especially through KDP, you need a 300 DPI. So for this, the DPI just isn't good enough. Now, let me show you if we go back to this one. And if we zoom in, we can see just how blurry it gets. So there's no option to change the DPI. There's no option to upscale the images. 
You also get a daily quota on how many times you can use the software. I'm not too sure how many times it is, but once you've reached your limit, you can't actually create any more, which is kind of annoying because it does get very, very addictive. But nonetheless, even though it's pretty cool to create these within Canva, I would not use it to create a coloring book as of yet. Again, it is in beta version. I can see all this getting a lot better as the months and the weeks and that go by. But as of now, I would not create a coloring book using this AI software within Canva. Now, another thing that I would actually do, I wouldn't just create the coloring pages like this, because if you know Canva, you can't really use stuff as is. You always have to use and combine elements together to create unique designs. So if I was to actually create a coloring book here within Canva, let's just say the DPI was good, you could change the dimensions and all of that good stuff. If I were to do that, then I'd probably create graphics like this, which I could then overlay on top of other things again because you want to use graphics in combinations with other graphics to make a unique design. So even though these are created by AI and they are unique, I'd still stick with the guidelines on how to use elements within Canva. Now, like I said, I'd create ones like this and then I'd actually get rid of the background, which we can do here within Canva by going to background remover give that a second it's going to remove all of this and then I could actually overlay that there we go that's done we could then overlay that on something else to make it even more unique now I'm really liking this software it's just a shame about the DPI and the dimensions ideally I'd love to have the graphics the coloring pages already at the dimensions that I'd like to use, ideally something like an 8.5 times 11, which would be perfect for books. Now, all the problems which I just said about the DPI, the dimensions, you could technically create these here, download them, and go and use other softwares to sort all of that out. But I just want it so Canva has the option to do everything just within the platform. Now, because of all of these limitations, I've actually just downloaded, no, I didn't, I didn't download, I signed up for Midjourney because for what I want created, I think Midjourney could do an outstanding job. Well, that's from what I've seen from watching other videos. Now, I've just signed up. I haven't used this yet. I have my profile here. As you can see, there is no images as of yet. But the more that I play with Midjourney, the more I'll share as well here on YouTube on my channel. Because I really think that if you got your prompts dialed in, that you could actually create some really nice coloring pages for books for KDP. Now, colouring pages, graphics, backgrounds, there's lots of different things that you could actually go ahead and create using AI. So, this technology has got me really, really excited. Now, did you already know that Canva has integrated AI in with the platform? If you did or you didn't, drop a comment down below letting me know. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.